This video will be for those people who are considering starting investing on Vanguard into a retirement fund, but they don't understand the difference between the retirement fund and the life strategy fund. So in this video we will answer the following questions. What are the retirement funds on Vanguard? What are the main differences between uh, retirement funds and life strategy funds? What are the similarities? What are the advantages of target retirement funds? And why I personally don't invest into these funds? So if that's of any interest to you, then please keep watching this video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia. On this channel I talk about investing and especially investing for beginners. I've already made a video about life strategy funds on Vanguard and I explained why I decided to invest into these funds. If you want to watch this video you can click this link here. But there is one more group of funds that I've never spoken about and it is called target retirement funds. So I thought it was a good idea to make a video just to close this topic completely, explain to you what target retirement funds are and why I personally decided not to invest my money into one. So let's begin. So as the name of these funds explains, these funds are made for those people who are thinking about retirement and they want to start investing their money to be able to take the profits at the moment when they retire. So it's usually long-term plans, but not necessarily, because even if you are 50 or 60 years old and you have only a couple of years left before you actually retire, you can also join these funds. But of course, you will most probably not be able to benefit from high returns as if you start investing when you are 20 and you keep your money in this fund for 40 or over years. Although at the age of 20 it's quite hard to start thinking about the time when you retire because it seems like it will never come but as we all know the older we get the quicker the time goes and the time will actually fly by. So it is the main aim for a lot of investors especially nowadays of those people who start investing very early around 20 or even earlier to save some money up for their retirement age. And this is the main group of people who Vanguard targeted when they created this product. Now let's talk about the main similarities between life strategy funds and target retirement. Both group of funds are called one decision fund. That means that you choose your fund once and then you don't have to look at it for a long period of time or even ever until you decide to take your money out. Everything else is done for you. You just have to take the decision to actually start investing into a certain fund. There are many funds inside this fund that are already included and they cover different sectors of economy, different geographical locations. So the risk is kept as low as possible. You can choose between the funds that invest into equity and bonds. Those are two asset groups that are not correlated between each other. And this is what helps you to maintain low risks even during the crisis. Both of these groups of funds were also created for those investors who want to invest absolutely passively. So they invest one fund, they don't want to invest into anything else, so they don't need to choose other funds, add some funds manually, or start investing into individual stocks and shares. So theoretically, one fund, I mean target retirement or life strategy, should be enough for your whole investing strategy. But remember, this is just the theory, because of course it doesn't always work like that. If we look at the five-year performance of both groups of funds, and also if we compare the global exposure, we see that the funds are pretty much the same. The choice of actual funds within these funds is a little bit different. But if we choose the 2055 target retirement fund and look at the funds that this fund has within it, we see that it consists of 80% equity and 20% bond, which is very similar to the life strategy fund, which also invests 80% into equity and 20% into bonds. There is a slight difference in actual funds that are inside this global fund, but it is very little and the performance and the results that both of these groups of funds bring is pretty much the same. 
Now, if they are so similar, then what are the differences? One of the investing rules suggests that the exposure to bonds in our total portfolio has to be correlated to our age. So, for example, if you start investing at the age of 20, then there should be 20% of bonds in your portfolio. If you start investing at 60, then there should be 60% of bonds in your portfolio. You should have more bonds the older you get because bonds are less risky and obviously the later you start the less time you have so you can't take as high risks as when you are 20 because over the period of time when you start investing at 20 the chances are very high that the market will correct itself whilst if you start investing at 60 then you can't be sure that you will get your money back in five or ten years whenever you decide to get the profits this rule is pretty easy to understand, so if you decide to start investing into a life strategy fund at the age of 20, you probably choose 80% equity fund and as the time goes by and you get older, you should change and adjust your fund to your age. So the question that you will eventually have is when is the perfect time for you to change your fund? And it's not that difficult to do, all you have to do is sell one fund and buy another fund. I think it's pretty simple. But this is is the question and this is the problem that the target retirement funds solve. Whilst life strategy funds rebalances your portfolio for you every single day, you will end up having 80% of equity and 20% bond every single year. It doesn't matter how long you hold this fund for. Whilst the target retirement fund will not just rebalance your portfolio for you every day, leaving 80% equity and 20% bond, but as the time goes by and as your years go by, as you get older, it will also adjust the percentage of your equity inside your portfolio against bonds. So by the time you are 60 and it is time for you to retire, you will end up with about 60% bonds and 40% equity. And this is the main difference between the target retirement funds and life strategy funds. So to answer the question of who should start investing into target retirement fund, it should be a person who can already think about their retirement age and who literally doesn't want to do absolutely anything to their investing. Not in five years, not in 10 years, it's for those people who want to just put some money aside, invest this money into this fund regularly or as one big lump sum at the beginning, I don't know, at the age of 20 or really any age. And never look at it again until they take their money out whenever they retire. And of course it's up to you, you can take this money earlier, it's not like your money will be locked there until your retirement age. But everything I'm talking about is a theory, so theoretically you should keep this money there until you retire and also theoretically by the time you retire you should have more money in this fund than before you started investing but of course like with any investing there are big risks involved and that's why the value of your investment may go up and it may go down you should be always prepared for that whenever you invest into any fund into any asset even the least risky one to me personally, these funds seem pretty cool. I love it how Vanguard finds the problem and solves it for you. When we were talking about life strategy funds, you probably thought, well, there can't be anything more passive than this fund. And here you go, you are given target retirement fund where absolutely everything is done for you, even one step further than the life strategy fund. I mean, what can be further? What can be more passive than this? I don't know. Maybe Vanguard one day will come up with the fund that will not just invest your money for you, but will also earn your money for you. That would be good. So now you may ask, why don't you invest into target retirement? Because what can be easier and less risky? Well, I don't think there can be anything easier and less risky, but still, I don't invest into one. And here is why. You see, when Vanguard created this fund, they had an average person in mind and the average person should have this percentage of bonds in their portfolio, the average person should retire at this age and so on. There are many different things that are considered to belong to an average person. But who is this average person? Do you actually know someone who can say, I'm just an average person? I don't think I am and I have different needs. 
Just like any one of us, we have different needs, different targets, different financial situation and different aims. I don't want to get retired at the age of 65. I want to get retired much earlier than that. That's why Target Retirement Fund is not for me. Because if I choose that I want to retire by 2030, it will straight away tell me that I need to invest 40-50% into bonds and this will mean low risk. But that's not the point because I'm not going to be at the end of my life, so to say, by the time I retire. I want to retire whilst I'm still young. So that means that if I manage to retire by that age, I'll be super happy, but I will still have a lot of years in case this aim doesn't come true and I have to keep on working. So I guess some people might feel like me and want to retire earlier. Some people might tolerate higher risks. Some people may not want to invest at all into equity, for example. So there are so many different things that people might want from investing. That's why target retirement funds is not an ideal option for absolutely everybody, including me. Nevertheless, I think that this group of funds is a perfect option and it's just absolutely great. It allows you to concentrate on work and bring in the income, more income, generating more income from your normal work, whilst putting aside a little bit of money every single month or every single week, whatever you decide to do in your personal financial situation, and just let your money grow whilst you don't pay absolutely any attention at it. So if you are one of those people who think that target retirement funds is the perfect solution for the problems that you have, I hope that you found my video useful and the information I gave you interesting and simple to understand. If so, then please click the like button below this video. And if you thought it was boring and absolutely useless, then you can also click the dislike button. It's up to you. Thank you very much, guys, for your time in any case. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.